Hey YouTube buddies, quick antenna review today. Uh, picked these up a couple weeks ago and just now getting around to trying them out. Uh, they claim 6.5 to 8 dBi boost. Uh, I'm going to be using these on my MoFi 4500 just to see if they do any better than the paddle antennas. These are the plus 5 dBi antennas that they include in the combo package. Uh, that's how I have it hanging on my wall. For some reason, they do have the best throughput when they're at this orientation. I've tried them every which way. For some reason, that's the best. Uh, let me show you some of the... Well, let's do this first. Uh, just to give you an idea or a refresher on how DBI is measured. The lower the number, the stronger the signal. And every time you take a step of three dBi, you're changing the power by two. You're, so if you're going down the scale, you've got a negative 70 and you step to negative 67, you just double the power effectively of that. So just keep that in mind when we're talking about this. Uh, so let's yeah let's do with the baseline so with the with the paddle antennas that came with this mofi here's my average and this is pretty decent for the middle of the day i'm about 31 ping 60 down and 24 megabits per second up and the pings just to give you an average there i'm usually hovering around the 50s my best was 28 the worst was about 140 that's a little high, but we're in the middle of the day here. It's on a Saturday, so that makes sense. And just to show you what the MoFi reports about the antenna with the paddles, usually getting about a negative 97 here. So there's one test I did. Negative 97 again. Uh, you can see it's reporting that the it's a fair... Uh, let me blow this up a little bit. The fair for the signal strength is what it's claiming that is at. Signal quality, negative 75, and your diversity is negative 91 dBi. I'm just going to bounce through these to give you an average, guys. So when I'm watching it, it does go from three bars down to two sometime. Just to give you an idea, here's what when you're at two bar, it got just slightly crappier, negative 98 dBi. Uh, signal quality 6.9 and diversity still the same. And here we're still back down at two bars. Negative 97 still. Signal quality is crappier, it's telling me. Negative 8.6. Diversity is still the same. So, let me show you what the whip antennas do. They are not. They're not so great uh, compared to the paddles. And I assume it's uh, most of the loss is, let me get this off the page. Most of the loss is coming from a 10 foot cord that they give you. This cable isn't very thick and I assume it's not very high quality. So I'm wondering if they'd shorten that, shorten that cable up to like a two or a three footer, if it would do much better but it did not do I'll show you the scores here or the readings so we're going from negative 97 to negative 98 there we're at negative 101 with the whips negative 103 even worse almost double you know you're stepping up too so that's almost twice as bad of signal negative 103 again And even worse, negative 104. So, on the bad side, you're going from negative 97, and it's almost not twice as bad, not double, but almost quadruple as bad. I don't know how to properly say that, but uh, significantly worse, I'd say. And it it still gets decent ping times. I'll show you here. I never had any loss in either antenna. So we're not getting any loss. Ping is still pretty decent. It's in the 50s. Uh, that's pretty bad for the maximum I got there, but 
I'm getting some decent ones too. Uh, I'll just bounce through here real quick to give you. I just took multiple uh, tests here when I had them plugged in. See, that's not as bad. Still pretty good there. Still in the 50s for the average. Okay, you got the idea there. And then I ran a speed test. Uh, and I did try different positions on, on these. So, yeah, so here's the baseline. I had these put together in the window where I know I get a good signal from the my, from the MoFi itself when I, when I was messing around with the placement had it in front of a window, and that's right where I put these whip antennas, so I'd know that I have a, a decent receiving transmitting area. Decent ping, they get good download, but you're only getting nine up, and my others were getting 23 up. So for some reason, they're they're not we're not getting the same upload out of them. Here we got a little bit better download still pretty crappy upload compared to the paddles so I started playing around with the spacing here this is putting them four feet away from each other a little bit worse download but a little bit better upload not much difference and I spaced them out 12 foot here just for just a test uh, got better download and still pretty crappy upload and so, in conclusion, the paddles, uh, more than double the upload on this. These are only getting seven or eight up. Uh, yeah, they're cheap, and yeah, they would get you by compared to probably the OEM whip style. You know, if you didn't buy the combo package and you have just a whip antenna on the, on the 4G LTE uh, inputs here, they might be doing better than that, but I would stick with the paddles for now. Uh, way better upload. So my next, you know, if you want to get even better than the paddles, uh, my next uh, test might be to pick up something. They're claiming these are 15 dBi. I doubt that, but I kind of want to test it just to see. I mean, they're cheap enough. No ratings, but... Before I go to a Yagi or a completely directional antenna, uh, it might be worth a shot, or at least I'd like to give it a try. Just using a better blade antenna, that is. So, what else can we check out here? Um, I think that's it, guys. I just want to let you know that, yeah, they work. Yeah, they're cheap, but you're not going to get the same upload rate, it, it appears. So that's all I got for now. Just a quick uh, antenna update. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. See you later.